wow, they're one of Cessna right at my altitude. <laughs> Hugh McElrath flies across the entire country now and then. That's a lot of lonely miles. But the moment he takes off from College Park Airport in Maryland, McElrath will be in rural airspace, requiring ADSB out. He hardly has room in the crowded cockpit for a sack lunch, but in crowded airspace, he says he can't afford to skimp on avionics. This is an extremely crowded area, and I want to be uh, visible to all the other traffic and to have the potential to have greater visibility on the traffic that's around me and the weather and all the other stuff. Keeping an eye on College Park Airport is manager Lee Summer, an early adopter of ADSB, years ahead of the FAA's January 1, 2020 mandate. There's a lot of traffic moving back and forth. Controllers try to tell you what's going on, but sometimes there's too many, and you can actually physically paint it, like in my case, the 650, and I know exactly where the traffic's at. It makes it a lot easier. It gives me a sense of security flying in a congested airspace that I'm going to be okay. John Twain flies his Cessna 182 out of Eastern Maryland, always scanning the skies. But having ADSB in has really been an eye opener. I was amazed by when I got the ADSB how much more traffic there was in the sky that I had never seen. I did have a near miss here on the Eastern Shore about 10 years ago before we got the ADSB. A plane came out of the wing shadow that I never saw and we came within 200 feet of colliding. And I would have never had that situation occur had I had ADSB. ADSB out will be mandatory for most controlled airspace by January 1st, 2020. ADSB in for many pilots who've had close calls and avoided them ever since is indispensable. So the ADSB it gives us all the traffic that's going to be out there.